question can also come up of, is the UK in a political decline or is it in a political renewal? Um, these arguments for and against. Um, the UK is in a political decline currently because you can look at um, voting turnouts in the last decade. Uh, a majority of them are actually quite low. For instance, the 2011 AV referendum, we had a turnout of 11, sorry, 42%. That's really low. You can also argue that party memberships have actually been in a constant decrease. Um, for example, it, since the 1950s, uh, the Conservatives went from almost 3 million members to um, just under a quarter of a million now. So obviously there's been a decrease in party membership. Um, but there are also reasons why the UK is in political renewal. The main idea is that you have to actually argue that uh, there's not a political decline, but the nature of political interest is just changing. So instead of um, voting or instead of joining party um, as, a, as members, um, the British uh, feel that they can um, participate in politics in different ways. So you could say that, uh, you could argue that the pressure group memberships have increased. You can argue that pressure group activity in general has also increased. Um, the Stop the War um, campaign has actually supposedly received um, just over one and a half million um, supporters. You can say that there's an increase in campaigning through the social media. Um, there has been a growth in protest um, and direct action. So, for instance, there were um, anti-tuition fee protests, there were anti-Iraq war protests, there were, and uh, more recently, there are a lot of stand-up to racism protests. Um, for instance, in Birmingham, there was um, a protest earlier this month, I think. I went to it. It had like a thousand people there. Um, doesn't sound like a lot, but still, it, it shows that people are politically participating. Also, you can argue that although we had, um, as a whole, low turnouts for referenda and elections, um, two specific referendas recently actually received higher um, turnouts, and that would be the EU referendum, which was 72%, and the Scottish referendum in 2014, which received, I think, about 80%. <laughs>